pass it over to um, Yarida, Yari Estrada, who's over here. Uh, yes. Thank you. Hi, Yari. How are you doing? I'm okay. <laughs> cool. Um, so we also have the statement from um, Council Member Chris Rivera, who is a, a tireless advocate for um, to this cause and also helped um, write uh, city legislation to be able to support replacement, uh, clean replacement power for the San Juan Generating Station. And he prepared a statement for us today. He couldn't be here, but he did prepare a statement, and Yadi is going to read it. And actually, we just stack the boxes up a little bit. Okay. So, a statement by Santa Fe City Councilor Chris Rivera. Let me say outset that I have four young girls. I must act as a responsible father, family man, and as a representative of the Santa Fe City Council. My understanding of climate change, especially specific impacts here in New Mexico, has advanced. We see extreme drought, record-breaking wildfires, and a decade of rising temperatures that affect food security and our health. We cannot unring the alarm of climate disruption, but we can respond. I brought a resolution before the Santa Fe City Council, which was co-sponsored by a majority of my colleagues, and, unanimous, and unanimously um, adopted to oppose PNM's reinvestment in coal and nuclear and to encourage as much investment in renewables. Uh, but the adopted resolution also called on the PRC to reduce or deny PNM's request for what has been termed stranded assets. These are PNM's expected profits from the coal units that they have agreed to close. PNM has already been compensated through a guaranteed rate of return that is 11.4% and is a risk premium on top of a cost recovery for the cost of electricity production. Coal is the single contributor to climate change and is also responsible for local health impacts that threat our air, our water, and the health of New Mexico families. The burning of coal releases toxic pollutants including nitrogen oxide, sulfur dioxide, and mercury that contaminate our soil and water, and that are proven to cause serious health conditions, such as asthma, lung, and heart disease, and cancer. A 2012 analysis by a nationally recognized environmental medicine NYU professor, Dr. George Thurston, found that over the last five years, PNM's failure to comply with the necessary pollution reductions at the San Juan coal plant has cost $240 million in public health care costs. According to the 2013 Community Health Profile Study commissioned uh, by Santa Fe County and Crystal St. Vincent uh, Regional Medical Center, 24% of Santa Fe County high school students have been diagnosed with asthma. I applaud the state of New Mexico, PNM, and the EPA efforts to close half of the San Juan generating station. Yet, what troubles me, what worries me, is PNM's replacement power plan and I'm clearly not alone. I am joined by more than thousands of New Mexicans who are also concerned about the risk of burning coal and nuclear that threatens our water supplies, increases the frequency of uh, severe weather events, and increases risk to our economy. Whereas the city of Santa Fe Municipal Charter charges the governing body with the responsibility to secure for ourselves, our children, the continuity of our cultural values, our personal freedoms, and our well-being. And the city of Santa Fe has a record of accepting these responsibilities and acknowledging the reality of climate change and our ability and responsibility to reduce our contribution to the causes of climate change, including our city's endorsement of the U.S. Uh, Conference of Mayors uh, Climate Protection. I believe my comments are consistent with these commitments. The time is now to transition away from New Mexico's investment in fossil fuels and nuclear energy and presents an opportunity to rapidly deploy re renewable energy technologies to meet New Mexico's energy demands. New Mexico has some of the best solar potential in the country and areas with very strong wind potential as well. And the benefits of solar and wind energy production will include CO2 emissions. Uh, <laughs> 
reductions, better health and environmental outcomes than fossil fuel or nuclear energy and can stimulate the creation of jobs in New Mexico. Our Santa Fe community, <laughs> our Santa Fe Community College is graduating with people with solar certification. We have many private companies that are hiring these graduates and paying them family supporting wages. Solar and wind are both cost competitive energy sources and now is the time to make the shift. Solar and wind are the best choices for our economy, our health and our environment. It's time for New Mexico to lead by example. I applaud Juntos for bringing the voice of our Latino population to four on this vital issue. Thank you. That was great. So, yes, thank you, thank you. And the key phrase that I think was said in there is the time to act is now. Now is the time to put pressure on all parties involved in this issue. Um, we have here, thank you, Victor, for holding this up, uh, a, 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 a large petition that was signed last Saturday. As we all know, there was a large climate march that is go, that went in tandem with the National People's Climate March that had over 400,000 people uh, in New York. Also, Denise was there for, uh, from CBNM, Eddie and Yadi went from Puntos. And these, these signatures right here really represent the voice of people from Santa Fe who know that clean, renewable energy is the future. And these boxes right here have over 6,000 petition signatures. They were collected by door knocking, by talking to people on the phones, by going to convenience stores, by going to places where the you know, community is to explain to them the importance of this issue and to mobilize the community around this. We have three community organizers, Zach, Yadi, and Eddie, who worked really tirelessly to, co to collect these signatures. And really, right now is the perfect time to hand them in. So without further ado, I'm going to hand it over to Eddie. Where's Eddie at? Woo! This is Eddie. Hi, Eddie. How, how's it going? It's going great. Are you feeling ready? I'm ready. Are you feeling pumped up to hand these signatures into the PRC? Let's do it. What, what are we going to tell them? We're going to tell them the time is now. We need to stand with history. We need to stand with progress. And it's our time to act. It's our time to go stay Yes, yeah. cool. Woo! Thank you, Eddie. All right, we're all going to follow Eddie right now into the PRC chambers. All right. Thank you. Spinoza is going to stand with the people of the United for healthy families and a sustainable green future. Thank you. No. Okay. Who will buy 
Oh, yeah, we're going to file these petitions today. Oh, okay, that's for Clay. Yes. Okay. Oh, that's fine. Thank you. Thank you. You can just make sure she gets that message. Okay, I will let her know. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. representing Juntos New Mexico from Albuquerque, various other community organizations, and uh, in regards to the PNM uh, replacement plan, and we just have over 6,000 petitions, uh, hundreds of conversations with families across the state, and we want renewable energy, we want sustainable energy, is the time now to, to act, and this is what we're here for, to officially file over 6,000 petitions. Mm -hmm. Do you think we can count on the support of... I'm election? actually on the... the um, Commissioner Vicente Aguilar is actually out in her district today. Okay, cool. So, yeah, I'm sure I'll give a name when I can see if she can get back on. Oh, no, just uh, sort of send a message. Okay. Yes, yes, we'll definitely follow up afterwards, though. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. This is the clerk. Okay. Alright, cool. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Have a good day. Have a good day. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 